A 70-year-old woman has been left with a black eye after being attacked while handing out Christmas gifts to the homeless. Maury and Norcliffe went out to the town center of Huddersville, UK on Monday, December 16th in an attempt to share joy and Christmas spirit with those living on the streets. Her day quickly turned sour, however, when a man walked up behind her and aggressively pushed the 70-year-old to the ground. The unidentified attacker stood over Moria for a moment before pulling his hood up and fleeing the area. The shocked woman, a retired medical receptionist, recalled the incident and explained she went down like a sack of potatoes. She commented, I was just going to turn into Monday Market when those two hands came up behind me and pushed my shoulder blades. He stood just a few feet away from me. It was as if he was wanting to see what my reactions were. The kind-hearted woman hadn't told her husband, Peter, she was going to hand things out to people on the streets, as she only does when she has a few spare pounds to give to the less fortunate. Moira had used her money to buy woolly hats, gloves, socks, current tea cakes, cheese, and water, which she wanted to hand out to help keep those in need warm and well-fed in the cold weather. It's unclear what happened immediately after the attack, but someone called the police to inform them of the man's actions and an ambulance arrived to take Moira to the hospital. The 70-year-old was taken to Huddersfield Royal Infirmary's A&E department, where she was treated for injuries to her face and hand. Moira was later allowed to return home to start the process of physical and psychological recovery. Moira continued, I hadn't even told my husband what I was doing. I just blurted it out in the ambulance. Peter, 72, believes the man just wanted to hurt someone who couldn't fight back. Commenting on the incident, he said, he didn't attempt theft or further assault. Crime scene investigation team have visited to take photos. We, the medical staff, police, friends, and family are all mystified as to why someone would do such a thing. The unidentified man's actions are truly horrendous, especially when the pensioner was only out to do good. Hopefully, Moira will make a full and fast recovery.